All right. Well, we can move on to the next episode, uh, which uh, is one of my personal favorites from this season, Thor versus Raiden. So do we have mm-hmm. any connection there with Thor and Raiden? Both. Yes. <laughs> uh, not, not much Thor for me, but Raiden has been my main in Mortal Kombat whenever I play. Since I played it at your birthday, not birthday, uh, Halloween party se- se- several years ago. Oh, damn. All right. I love them both like equally, which pro- like more so recently because of our little uh, Mortal Kombat kick oh, that you guys we went have, on. You guys have been playing Mortal Kombat? We played some of the games. We watched basically, I think, all the existing movies except for one. Um, we didn't watch the animated movies yet. I well, I watched them, but oh, oh. I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> um, yeah, so like Raiden, I, I just learned I like Thunder Gods. It doesn't matter. They which tend to be cool. Or background. Yeah, they're and they're always like uh, benevolent. Yeah, most of the time. So go. <laughs> so going into this, who are we rooting for? Ah. Uh. It's a really hard call. I I don't even know. I guess I just have to pick one. Rooting for it would be Raiden, just because he's my favorite. All right, fair enough. This is the Marvel Thor, right? Yes, Marvel Thor. There's just a lot more feats generally. I'm gonna go with Thor on this one. Well, who do you want to win? I I don't really. Like, I I want them both equally to win. That's fair. But I'm, I've had those. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to think of like what is available probably at this time in terms of content. Like I maybe... believe the newest game might have been Mortal Kombat Nine. That one might be out. Okay. Which I... he has a pretty prominent role in that one. Oh yeah, I'm not 100 percent on that though. He, I wouldn't say he's the strongest even in that game. No. I'll just go with Thor, just to be safe. Okay. Well, Thor versus Raiden. I never watched the... Not watched. I never read the comics, but I know shit gets crazy in the comics. Oh, yeah. The mighty Thor, Prince of Asgard. And well, those eyes are insane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, and he can survive the heat of the sun or even a planet-bursting explosion. Well, I guess that's that sounds hard to tell. God bangs the earth. I mean, kind of. He's, he's like basically he's Marvel Superman. So. I mean, Marvel Superman century, but I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, yes, that's the one-to-one, but before that was a character. Like, who else could have stood up? Yeah. But Mjolnir is not the only thing in Thor's arsenal. He wears the belt of strength, which, surprise, he already said it, right? Yeah, but they wanted to be funny. Yeah, they could have done that for the first time. Then. The wind. He can even summon deadly bolts of lightning. He also has some control over the earth. He can make earth. <laughs> he even has powers over thunder and lightning. You who would have guessed? I'm still gonna cut him some slack, but I don't like that they're trying to merge. Like they're trying to make it like a uh, composite Thor. Yeah. When, like clearly this is the Marvel one. The god of thunder and storms, who when angry devours the stomachs of children as they children. That's a Raiden. Okay. Or a Raijin. I think. Like yeah. Well, whenever he's had his fill of defenseless sleeping that's, children, that's what Raiden is technically based on. Yeah. Okay. Raiden is the defender of Earthrealm and a key leader in shielding it from the forces of Shao Kahn's outworld. He's, he's seven foot tall. Damn. Them up with I, I'm still questioning all of their heights and weights that they're just like coming up with. I mean, they're, they're all official. Wasn't he kind of shorter in the games though? I think everyone in that game is just ridiculously tall for some reason. Maybe yeah. I mean, I Shao so. Kahn. I mean, he's like at Shao Kahn's shoulder, and Shao Kahn is ridiculously tall. Okay. I, I think maybe the in-game heights can't be measured. It's probably got to be some stat somewhere. Yeah. Because yeah, like he's he's as tall as, or he's taller than Shao Kahn, but not by much. And Shao Kahn is supposed to be short. Or I'm sorry, um, Shang Tsung. Uh, I don't know. Electric fly and the shocking touch. I miss them using official music like this. I know why they don't anymore, but I miss it. The sheer power of these lightning attacks apparently overloaded. I think these clips are from Nine, so I think you're the right guy. Yeah, I've seen a couple clips from Nine. 
as an eternal god, Raiden is entirely complete. That's not nine. Yellow That's garbage. The movie. Yeah. The best this, thing. <laughs> that Raiden, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like the one with the, the throat cold. So oh, not again. Numerous successes in defending Earth against impossible odds. Raiden has He's so bulky in that one. Yeah. yeah. Leadership and wisdom in battle. Uh, uh, stop showing that one. <laughs> Keep showing that one. Sacrifices it's funny. To achieve victory. Like this guy, that guy, and all of these guys. Raiden, a physical That actor who played that one must have just been like, I'm not wearing the hat because <laughs> everything else is supposed to be accurate. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, my free trial of Netflix round. So, with this, who do you have? Still Thor. I am Thor now. I got one over. So, I, it feels like Thor. They they played him up more. They uh, give him like a few more feats and more. It just seemed like more strengths than Raiden. Like they said, Raiden has his god powers, but uh, I, I was beginning to realize powers. we going into these blind. Like we're basically always taking a fifty fifty guess because you know we can spend all day dissecting what they're saying like about each one so i think it's just a toss-up either way a little bit yeah there's a <laughs> there's a certain episode in the past that we shall not get into that i happen to source that from um especially with these early ones i can definitely agree that you're kind of just taking a shot um but like i said this is the first one they actually tried the versus debating stuff so you know take what they're saying a bit more Okay. Okay. But you're you're still both going for Thor. Yes. Yeah. All right. Two votes for Thor. This is. Mm, it might be my favorite sprite fight this season. Fight. Yeah, I like the move. I use that move a lot. I know. <laughs> I, I love his fucking gibberish. And I love that they <laughs> Huzzah! Kind of... <laughs> uh, uh, Kai, I'm pretty sure it's called Japanese. <laughs> I don't think that's what he's doing. <laughs> I legit do not think it's Japanese. It's not. It doesn't sound like words. so cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Does that? Yeah, that's definitely not Japanese. This is so much more cinematic now. Oh yeah. I mean, compare this to just a like a several episodes ago. Um, the Justin Bieber vs. Rebecca Black one. Oh, God, no. You know, I think about that sometimes. I, I, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> there's, there's no way they would have put that much effort into that one. Or this much effort so. into that one. Yeah. I forgot who I was rooting for for a second, because I still like Raiden better, but I think it's Thor that's yeah. gonna win. Away with you. Feel heaven's wrath. Wait a minute, heaven? <laughs> that's not right. Give him a chance. This is good for us, Nick. Hang on. <laughs> Let it play. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure until it said KO. <laughs> uh, it didn't actually well, now we know definitively. Luke, I would like to point out that um, I think you need to. You need, we need to fix the score of yours fast. Um, Why? Because your score is currently nine eleven. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, do anything. <laughs> Quick, change, I mean, the next thing is change gonna your answer, me. please. Give no. me, be wrong. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna abstain from every subsequent death battle. <laughs> Get all of them. I liked it. Raiden is a clever and versatile combatant, but was completely overpowered by Thor's strength. It also doesn't help that Raiden's main weapon, electricity, was completely useless. Add in Thor's hammer and game over. Remember, Mjolnir was forged using the core of a dying star. When a star dies, it collapses into a super condensed neutron star. Even the smallest portion of this star can weigh a million tons. Raiden stood. So I want to point this out real quick. That is false information. It sounded not, false. Not how much it weighs. That's actually true. He, um, he, it's the hammer is not made out of the core of a dying star. It was forged in the core of a dying star. It's made that, out of that is very men. yeah. That's right. It's made of uru, but was forged in yeah uh yeah a dying but, star. But yeah, but uh. That 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 was simply just um something they got and they got it wrong again later on. Oh, the same thing. Uh, if I remember correctly, when they when Thor comes back uh, against Wonder Woman later on, uh, I believe I I've, I've avoided watching that episode again because I'm not a fan. Um, <laughs> but uh, I remember them getting that wrong again. Little chance against a blow like that. Well, at least Raiden finally found his place in the sun. The winner is Thor. So do we have any thoughts on that one? I'm glad you guys both got another one right. Uh, I was I was just trying to look at it from a purely like neutral stance. Like, you know, yes. there's probably more information available about Thor at this time. I think it makes sense that and I didn't notice this before, but yeah, Raiden's electricity wouldn't do much against Thor. Yeah, no. I mean, but by the same token, yeah, like basically it's somebody with a hammer versus somebody without a hammer when you treat them <laughs> both like thunder gods. And I mean, it's not like they're... It, it would be one thing if, like, Thor wasn't a trained warrior and he just had a hammer, then Raiden could probably easily get around it. But no, he's... there. He's actually been a trained warrior for longer than Raiden. Yeah. This so. is clearly the inferior version of Thor, but... Uh, they I still agree with the outcome. One of my favorite things ever is that in I believe it's Thor versus Wonder Woman, they're talking about Thor and um, the, obviously they're much because this is season five when they did that, and so they're much better at their research stuff. Um, and while they're talking about like some of the insane shit they can do, that he can do, I think Boomstick literally says, "Why did we think it was a good idea to put him against Raiden?" <laughs> <laughs> they just openly say that it was a that it was a like a shit stomp. They have to know. Um. All right. So, uh, uh we good to move on? Yeah. I was. Right. I'm just gonna say it makes sense for theming, like both oh, electricity. Oh, absolutely. But it, it power power wise, not in the slightest. 